Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another Laravel Lair tutorial. Today, I'm gonna to take a look at Fusion 360 in a browser. So check out the latest blog post by Bryce here. Um, I'll have the link down below, but basically if you have um, an account with, with uh, Fusion 360 and Autodesk, you can try this out today. It is just a preview, uh, so they're still gonna be working on it. They want feedback and things, so I figured I'd give it a test whirl here. Uh, here's how to kind of get access to it. It's, you should already have access to it, so let's check it out. I'm here in my project hub. This is where kind of your your projects all reside. You can manage projects, see comments, and that sort of stuff. So I'm gonna open up this recent design here, and uh, I can preview it here. Uh, all the components that are used in this design are there. There's some like render data, which is really nice. Up here, we're under the little icon for the pencil. There's an edit in browser, so I can click on that. It'll open up a new tab in Chrome. Pull my download, pull, pull my data, my design data, and just load it here. So this is awesome. This looks just like Fusion 360 because it kind of is. Um, in the bottom here, I have my timeline. As I scrub around here, you can see the different names here, and uh, it's highlighting uh, some of the shades over there on, on the design here. That's really cool. It's a lot like Fusion. A couple of these things are these little question marks are probably just. Um, uh, I think these are inserting components, so um, you really can't. Um, mess with it too much so maybe we'll get some some new updates to that so um that's just importing stuff but as you can see i can click around here and modify things real easily um it works kind of the same way so i i get manipulator handles that are interactive um and looks like um, it kind of takes a little bit to render that out that change is immediate but it does update as soon as i let go of my mouse cursor that's really cool I also noticed that there's this little thumbtack thing. If I click on that, I actually get this expanded view uh, of, of uh, the, the kind of feature, the edit feature window. That's kind of neat because in Fusion 360 desktop version, I don't think you can do this, at least for the Mac you can't. So that's kind of fun. Of course, one of the, one of the big highlights that I saw um, was being able to change user parameters. So if I wanted to update this, let's say I'm on another computer or let's say I'm at the, like at the offices, and I don't have it installed on that computer, I can come in here, log in, and, and get my design, which is really awesome. I don't have to download the IDE. So I'm gonna update this expression here, make this gap a little bit bigger, hit 0 0.4, hit enter, and there we go. Another thing I noticed that isn't here yet, which I'm really looking forward to see in a future update is uh, measuring. So if I wanted to see the distance between this uh, surface and this edge here, when I select both of them, I don't get my little uh, thing here and if I type I on my keyboard uh, it doesn't seem to show up the uh, the inspector measurement tool thing so hopefully that's the thing that's coming let's see if I can update uh, some things here so if I go let's say I want to go into the sketch here for the switch guard so it's whoa, it looks like it's loading here so again this is a preview um, so maybe maybe I hit a, a snag here uh, looks like I'm kind of maybe I lost connection for my internet. I'm not sure. That might be one of the downfalls of this, of course, with any CAD that's over over the cloud. Uh, well, not over the cloud, but you know, like connect to the internet. Um, you kind of get that. So I am stuck in this weird mode. So I'm gonna hit stop sketch. And yep, I have broken the design. So. Uh, I did this earlier, and I've been playing a lot with this design uh, inside the browser. So, uh, word of advice: if you want to start using it right away, just be aware that it, um, you know, some things. Uh, this is a preview. Things are probably going to break and such. So, uh, hope it doesn't. It I wasn't able to corrupt the design, so I can still access it and everything. So I'm just going to click here, hit discard changes, hit OK, and hit leave there because it's just one of those things at Chrome. And I, I pretty much broke this design. Um, I think uh, what, what Fusion's trying to do is kind of like uh, create an instance and save it out as a separate uh, subversion or something. So I think I broke that design. I, I've probably treated it too bad. I'm going to go back here and take a look at another design, see if I can modify that one and just break more things, right? Uh, I'm willing to do it. I, I'm super, super excited to play with it. So let's say, I don't know, this design here. I don't know what this is some sort of cherry MX design thing that I did a while ago. Um, let's see if I can modify this, edit in browser. So for the for most of the, uh, the testing that I've been doing, you can kind of see uh, some of the, the, mo the basic kind of important things that you can do. So you can see the model workspace and hopefully some other workspaces will be um, coming soon. 
So there's my design. Uh, orbiting and panning is all the same, so I didn't have to update anything there. Uh, so that's really really nice. Uh, some of the you know some of the shadows and things might not be working as well, uh, but that's just one of the quirks I guess right now. So under under model you can only see that there's uh, that workspace. As far as sketches go, it looks like they're all here. All the sketches that I want to do are definitely there. Uh, I can do threads and revolves and all this sort of thing, patterns, mirroring. That's awesome. Uh, fillets, chamfers, all this stuff is here. Change parameters is, of course, there. Uh, and then you get all the construction planes. So if you want to do some, some more deep CAD stuff, you totally can. Here's like my lofting, for example. It looks like uh, lofting is, is, is able to work fine here. I can modify it. That's really cool. Again, I like this uh, concept of being able to pin uh, your your kind of your data panel and uh, kind of modify it that way. It takes uh, you know advantage of all the real estate that you have here. So I like that. I, don't, I can't really do that in, in regular desktop app. Um, let's see what else. Uh, you can you can fairly step through a design really quick to kind of see what's going on there. Uh, see how you built the design. I don't think I can edit a capture position yet, so that's something that's coming hopefully. Uh, but I can change patterns and such. So if I want to update the pattern for this, right click. Uh, oh, maybe I can't. It doesn't look like I can update that pattern, so that's fine. Uh, we can definitely modify everything else though. Edit feature for fillet. It's definitely possible. I kind of like this um, this new approach to handling uh, kind of selection points. Like so, this fillet for example, it shows me. Uh, the individual edges, and it doesn't, and, and inside of the desktop app, kind of encapsulates that. So there's like six edges, and here you can, you can kind of pick and choose exactly what edge you don't want or whatever. So that's kind of neat. I think that's kind of different. So I'll hit cancel on that, and it looks like we can update planes. Say we wanted to update the offset plane here, we can do that. It, it has all that fine there. That looks good. Uh, we can do a shell as well. Shells are pretty complex well, depending on your shape, but. Looks like this is how it's getting handled. Uh, a little bit hard to see it here, but that's just because of this. You do have different like um, shaders, so you can do wireframe if you want. Uh, you can do basically all the ones that are available in, in regular Fusion, desktop Fusion. I right, cancel on that. And it looks like we can modify sketches. So earlier I was able to modify a sketch and really take a look at all the stuff you can do. All the constraints are pretty much there, so you can uh, go pretty in depth with your constraints and your sketches. Uh, you can modify um, sketch dimensions, of course. You can move them around. Uh, editing is a little bit chunky, so maybe this will get a little bit better. Um, so I will see that. That does update, though, and everything else will probably update as well. So let's say I want to increase the hole to a three millimeter to kind of click around. As you saw that, it, it kind of maybe just slow down a little bit. There we go, three, enter, yeah, that worked. Hit stop sketch, and that updated just fine. So that's just a quick look. Um, play around with it. Again, it is a preview, so if something breaks, don't freak out. Um, uh, I, I was able to break two designs where I can no longer edit them in the browser, but I have checked them in Fusion, and I can uh, edit them and get access to them, like this one, for example. You might have saw earlier that I broke it. It wouldn't. It wasn't able to uh, open again, but I do have it here, and that worked just fine. So, very very fun. I am super uh, looking forward to uh, doing to to for this to be released and get um, more more updates because I think it's very important uh, for folks to be able to modify our designs uh, in in their browsers. They don't have to download an IDE, so it's really important. Um, Kirby. Uh, my buddy Kirby uh, had a great uh, scenario where uh, at work his coworkers kind of uninstalled everything uh, from his work computer, including Fusion, so he wasn't able to uh, kind of modify his designs and stuff. But with this, it doesn't matter. He didn't need to install anything. He just come in here and uh, do a quick adjustment or whatever. So I think that's really, really, really great step for uh, the Fusion 360 software ecosystem thing. So. I don't know. That's all. That's all I want to take a look at. It's a little bit limiting, but it's amazing how much stuff you can do already with it. So check it out. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, remember to make a great day. I'll see you guys later.